How's it going, everybody? My name is Nikki. Thank you for joining me here again for another shave. And today, we're gonna be using the Vanderhagen Safety Razor. It looks pretty. It's very small, very light. The knurling is good, though. And it is a twist to open. Now, I actually do enjoy this razor. However, it's not like the best because it is super mild. This is basically the definition of a beginner razor, in my opinion at least, because even if I'm going against the grain on my face, there's still some stubble left over. It's not a bad razor. I enjoy it. It's smooth. Nothing crazy happens. I'm not a fan of the blades that come with it because I experienced like tugging when I was shaving even like super thin hairs. And so I switched the blades. I've used a Wilkinson sword in this and currently I have a bevel blade going on. And so we're gonna get lathering up and shaving with Sterling Mountain Man. That's right, Mountain Man with the Vanderhagen. We're going crazy. I actually did not look up how to pronounce Vanderhagen or Vanderhagen. I believe I'm just gonna say Vanderhagen because that sounds more normal and I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but I totally forgot to look up how it's actually pronounced. <laughs> All right, we've had our bevel brush soaking in some hot water. We're gonna be doing a bowl lather today using the trusty, dusty Target Gray Bowl. You already know, high quality technology around here when it comes to our shave, folks. Nothing but the best. Got the brush nice and loaded up. Let's kick up a nice little lather. All right, we got ourselves a beautiful lather built up. This Sterling Mountain Man is absolutely amazing when it comes to the consistency, the scent of it. It's all just fantastic. I'm absolutely a huge fan of this. Gonna go ahead and wet our face and get on with the shave. All right, got our face all nice and wet. Let's go ahead and apply our lather. No! Now this Mountain Man smells absolutely amazing. It's based off of the Cologne by Creed. It's gonna be a Silver Mountain Water. It's a unisex fragrance, according to their website. I don't really remember the notes, but this is a clean, fresh smelling scent. Like, the way I described it was, this smells like you're super clean and you want people to know it. So I took a shower this morning. <laughs> the scent doesn't stick around all too long, which is fine by me. I don't really need it to, especially when I'm out here layering up aftershaves, aftershave balms, and then generally a cologne of some form afterwards as well. Not always. But generally, this lather is incredibly liquidy. I have made a mistake, but it's all right. We're gonna keep going in with it. Let's get our razor under some nice warm water. All right, we're starting on the right side. Let's start that first pass. Oh, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. My day is good so far. I got the job, and today is my first day. If you were here for my last video, then you already know I had a job interview over the last week, and that went well. They called me back. I've been doing a bunch of onboarding stuff. And so I'm about to be up in the kitchen again. Back in my happy place, back where I'm comfortable. Definitely a fan of the kitchen environment, as long as the kitchen is good. Because my biggest problem with a lot of other kitchens is just they're not run well. And I can't stand that. I had uh, one job for, I, didn't, not, I did not stay there long. I had one job where I literally didn't know who any of the managers were. And I was there for a little while. And... <laughs> The chain of command was never explained to me in any way, shape, or form. It was super weird. Somehow they're still open. 
So I guess someone knew who the management was, but nobody explained it to me. <laughs> it was the most awkward place I've ever been in trying to be like, okay, I know what I'm doing here because I've done this for a long time. What's y'all's process? And they're like, hey, you've said you've done this before, just do it. And I'm like, what? I literally don't know how y'all do things around here. You gotta teach me your way. And they're just like, no, it's all right. You'll figure it out. <laughs> like, I was literally told that. It's like, bro, just because I've worked in a kitchen before doesn't mean I automatically know exactly how your kitchen works and exactly what to do <laughs> according to your standards. So hopefully this goes much, much better. <laughs> I already know who one of the managers are, so we're off to a better start already. Beautiful. I think I'm actually pushing down a little bit too much with this razor because of how mild it is. I've definitely heard other people complain about that being a drawback is that it's actually so mild that some people in an attempt to get, you know, a closer shave, they end up pushing down too hard, which ends in a lot of razor burn. And this is a very light razor. I don't know exactly how much it weighs, but it is significantly less than the King C. Gillette, and it is absolutely less than the Bevel. All right, I think that's a solid first pass. We're gonna wash off going for the second. So far, is it an acceptable shave? Absolutely. However, is there more stubble on my face than there normally would be after using the King C or the Bevel? Absolutely. Going against the grain, I can really feel it. Going with the grain, it's decently smooth, but you can still tell that like you're growing hair. And so a second pass with this, unless you're just getting in and out really fast, generally, well, I wouldn't call it necessary, but I will say that you're probably gonna want it. We're gonna lather up for a beautiful second pass. Probably gonna go across, and then I might hit a third pass against just to prove my point about there still being stubble. Unless, maybe my technique has improved and there actually will not be stubble where I expect there to be. All right, got a nice light layer of shaving cream on the face. <clears throat> second a pass, second a pass. <laughs> second pass going across the grain. Now, I don't know if you can hear the feedback on this. But I certainly can. And generally on my second passes, there's a lot more. It's feeling like I cut all the hair off, but I absolutely have not. This part, this part of my face, wow. <laughs> this part of my face right here is very sensitive. I can go across that no problem. Generally, it feels like a little weird. It's not necessarily like it's irritated. It just feels a little funny when I go across the grain right there. Does not feel weird at all with this razor. All right, gonna go like with slash across the grain on my neck. Just 
actually doing a bit of against the grain. I lied to y'all. I didn't mean to lie. I swear I didn't. <laughs> it looks like I'm a liar. Oh, goodness. All right. Now, on a lot of parts of my faces, it is just sliding smoothly like there is no hair there. I promise y'all if I go against the grain, there is hair. This razor is just so mild, it generally does not get it. Which, like I said, perfect for a beginner. But if you know what you're doing, and you're going for the closest shave that you can possibly get, this will not get you there. Unless you apply more pressure than you're probably going to want to. Like just there after that second pass, like I said earlier, it's feeling acceptable. There's nothing wrong with it, but it is not glass. It is not baby smooth. Nothing along those lines. I can actually do a quick against the grain pass and I think my face will be able to handle it. And that's saying something because I can never really go against the grain with any of my razors because it's just a little too irritating. I think I pushed down too hard because the angle is upside down or upside down. And so my brain wants to like compensate by adding extra pressure that it just absolutely does not need to add. Go ahead, get that cream, push it out of the brush. I'm just gonna apply it with our hands real quick, real fast. Ooh, it is watery. It is very slippery. That's one thing about these uh, Sterling soaps. They're really nice. You can add a lot of water to them. And even if you add too much water, <laughs> You can still get a good shave. A quick mild against the grain. Making sure to use as little pressure as I possibly can. I just realized I haven't said a word this entire last pass. Gotta focus. All right. I think I managed to nick myself on my jaw over here, which would make sense. I was just kind of like flinging the razor around a little willy nilly, but I believe that's going to be about it for the against the green pass. Boom, yeah, that's a full three pass shave, folks. Never before seen on this channel, two pass only previous to now. Like I said, I probably pressed a little too hard on parts of my neck, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and wash this off. All right, gonna go ahead and dry off the face. Boom. Now, like I said, I did press down a little bit too hard, specifically right here, and a little on my neck on the other side possibly on my jaw, but my jaw just kind of turns red a lot when I shave. But the face is feeling smooth. It's not absolutely glass smooth, but it is very nice compared to a very aggressive razor. That was a lot more work than you would have to put in with others. However, we still got a decent shave. It just took a little bit extra pressure on certain points and a little bit extra time, but you can still achieve a good shave even with a super mild razor. It's just a matter of your technique and the pressure, but obviously too much pressure will lead to a little bit of razor burn. But overall, not a bad shave at all. I actually do enjoy the Vanderhagen. I do have it in my rotation. It's just a matter of it's not my closest shaver, and so I'm not always gonna grab it. <laughs>
But if you're in the market for a super, super mild razor, and you've tried others, but you haven't tried the Vanderhagen, and you're able to pick this thing up for nice and cheap, then might as well. If it's over like $20, not worth, go spend your money on another razor most likely. But if you see it in the store and it's not a bad price and you're like, I don't mind a mild razor, let's, let's try it out, then I highly recommend. However, if you already are a connoisseur of the razor blades and the razors, then you do absolutely not need this in your arsenal. However, <laughs> it's nice for newbies. It's nice for people that want just a nice mild shave, nothing super crazy. And you can honestly get away with just a one pass shave with this. No problem. But the three is nice if you want to get as close as possible. And now we're going to be going in with a new love of mine, Aqua Velva Ice Blue. I'm obsessed with the menthol. This is the very first product I've ever bought that has any form of menthol in it, and I'm liking it a lot. I've found a way to negate the uh, dribbling down the side of the thing. Put your finger over the hole, flip it completely upside down, and then let it go. And just use your finger as the stop, and it will not run down the side of the bottle. You will get all of it in your hand. <laughs> We're also going in with, ah, that's way too much, the Nivea Sensitive Aftershave Balm. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I love it. I love the bottle. I love the smell. I love the effect on my face. It is all just very good. All right, folks, that is going to be the shave for today. Overall, the Vanderhagen, Vanderhagen, it is absolutely fantastic. If you're looking for a nice mild shave or you're a beginner, the handle is very small. The razor in general is tiny compared to my hand. It's not very big. So if you got big old paws, then maybe this will be way too itty bitty for you. But if you're an average size fella like myself and you want a mild shave, then this is definitely a good guy to go to. It's a little light and the blades that come with it aren't the best, so I'd recommend using other blades. But other than that, it's absolutely wonderful. It does get the job done, and I can go against the grain with it, Then I can't do that with my other razors. So that just proves to you about how mild it is. Oh, man. Like I said, that's going to be the shave, though. I hope you all have beautiful days, beautiful shaves, and until the next one, I will see y'all later. <laughs> Peace out.